hope you've already watched part one and have understood what is VPC, MLAG, and their differences. In this video, I will do more lab demonstrations for both Cisco VPC and Arista MLAG. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I am your cloud and data center rock star. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. I'm here in my EVE NG and I have my Cisco Nexus 9000 switches. We're gonna pair Nexus 9001 and 2 using Virtual Port Channel or VPC. Now, let's begin. Now, before we begin the configuration, uh, we need to enable VPC first. Why? Because if I do show VPC brief, as you can see, it says invalid command. Okay, so we can do this also on the other switch, the Nexus 9002, again, invalid command. To enable VPC, it's very easy. All we need to do is use feature command and then VPC. Okay, we'll do this on both switches. Okay, feature VPC. And if I rerun the show VPC brief, as you can see, we are now getting an output. Okay, and uh, it says... Uh, peer link is not configured and VPC domain ID is also not configured. Now, let's begin the actual configuration. First, we're going to configure VPC domain. And this is a very simple configuration. To do this, all I need to do is use VPC domain command and uh, we need to specify an ID. Okay, it's 1 to 1000. But since this is Nexus 9001 and 2, we're just going to use uh, 1 and 2, which is 12. Okay, and from here, uh, very simple. All we need to do is specify the uh, keep alive IP address or the IP address that we're gonna use for uh, peer keep alive. And the command is peer keep alive destination and the IP address. Now, by default, it will use the management verf or the management interface. And to verify, I will do show IP interface brief and then verf management. Okay, and as you can see, this is the IP address of the other switch, the Nexus 9002. And uh, all I need to do is uh, I can copy and paste or I can just simply type it. Okay, 192.168.254.12 and I will hit enter. Now, before I hit enter, uh, we have an option to specify a different verb. Okay, uh, again, the default is the management verb. Now, now going to hit enter and uh, the command is accepted. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, configure our VPC peer link. Okay, and to do this, uh, we're going to use, we're going to configure first the interfaces that connects to these two switches. Now, if you look at the diagram, it's E19 and E110. So we'll just simply configure both interface using int E1 slash 9 to 10. Okay, and under this two interfaces, we're going to enable port channel. Okay, and the port channel command is channel group. And I will use also one, two, uh, the same port channels, the same ID we use for VPC domain. And I will just simply use uh, static mode on. And there we go. And oh, by the way, we need to uh, unshut these interfaces. And then we're going to configure the port channel itself, which is um, PO12. And under this interface or port channel interface, we need to make sure that it is switch port mode, uh, trunk, okay, and enable switch port as well. So there we go. And uh, we will also uh, configure this as our peer link, okay? Take note, these two interfaces need support channelized and this port channel, which is port channel 12, needs to be uh, specified as peer link. So we're just going to use VPC space peer link command. Okay, and there you go. And it says here, this will enable spanning tree breach assurance on VPC peer link. And uh, next thing is I will verify the status, okay, using show VPC brief. 
And as you can see, we have already VPC domain ID 12, but the peer link is down. It makes sense because we haven't configured Nexus 9002 yet. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I will um, do or use the same configuration for the Nexus 9002. Okay. Except for the IP address, of course. And the first thing that we did is we enable VPC feature and then configure VPC domain 12. Uh, the peer keep alive destination 192.168.254 the host ip address of nexus 9001 is dot 11 hit enter and uh, we're going to use the same interfaces ethernet 1 slash 9 and 10 no shot and then i'm going to configure channel group 12 static mode on and under this port channel 12 or in po12 there you go Okay, switch port and then switch port mode trunk. Okay, and lastly, we need to specify that this port channel is a VPC peer link. And there you go. Now, let's verify again if I do show VPC brief. There you go. As you can see, the peer status is now peer adjacency formed okay. And the keep alive status is peer is alive. Now, if I do the same configure, same commands, excuse me under nexus 9000 okay it's also the same because uh we got the same result okay the main id is 12 peer is alive peer adjacency is okay and uh, since we have three vlans you will see now under vpc peer link status uh we have three active vlan vlans and the port again um id is 12 this is for the peer link um what we're gonna do next is which is the last configuration is we're gonna enable vpc interfaces these are the interface connected towards the neighbor and uh, what neighbor well as you can see there are no other neighbors here from nexus 9001 and 2 uh it's only the linux server okay so we are going to enable vpc interface under interface e1 slash one so let's do this i'm gonna configure interface e1 slash one and uh, i'm gonna unshut this okay and then i will configure a port channel now this can be any port channel id but we're gonna uh, we're gonna just simply use port channel uh id one okay and i will also use static mode on and uh, there you go i'll do the same on nexus 9001 again both of them are using interface one slash one connecting to the linux server so e1 slash one no shot and then channel group one mode on okay um i will configure now port channel one which is the id of this channel group and uh, from here i will uh enable hold on port channel one Okay, I will enable VPC. All right, I need to make sure this is switch port. Okay, so switch port and then uh, I will enter VPC1. Okay, so this was missing. Okay, so I need to make sure that this interface or this port channel interface is uh, in switch port mode and uh, I will enter VPC1. Okay, so now we're successful. If I do show VPC brief again, you will now see this VPC interface for channel one is up. And as you can see, consistency reason is also successful. The active villain is one because we didn't change the default VLAN for this interface. Now let's do this again on the other Nexus appliance, the Nexus 9002. Uh, and as you can see, we have the same result. Okay, port channel one is up, consistency, recent success, and the active VLAN is one. And I am back in my Eve NG. And this time, we're gonna configure our Arista switches. We're gonna pair spines one and two using MLAG. So let's begin. And by the way, we don't need to enable MLAG feature because by default, it's already enabled. Now, let's just verify the status of MLAC. Okay, and as you can see, MLAC is currently disabled for both Spine 1 and 2. Now, we're not gonna do MLAC configuration manually. We will be using 
Python network automation. And uh, I have here my access to the Linux server where the scripts are residing. So if I hit LS, as you can see, we have many Python script available. All I need to do is run one mlag.py. And if I hit enter, as you can see, we have options. Which pair should we push the mlag configuration? So I'll just select A for spine one and two, and I will enter the domain uh, Zurian. And as you can see, spine one and two has MLAG configuration successfully implemented. And let's verify. If I do show MLAG again on both spines 1 and 2, as you can see, we have now an MLAG status active and the negotiation status is connected. Okay, peer link and local interface status are both up. And as you can see, the main ID is set to Zurian. Now, as I mentioned in my previous video, MLAG uses peer link to send keep lives. Let's verify this. If I do show MLAG or show run sec MLAG, you will see that under MLAG configuration, we are using the peer link for channel 1000, okay, which is the port channel configured on both ETH 11 and 12. Uh, what else? The peer address is configured under MLAG configuration. And this 10.100.101.102, this is the IP address of Spine2, okay? Uh, under an SVI at VLAN 4094. And this makes sense because under MLAG configuration of Spine1, it says here, local interface VLAN 4094, which is an SVI. Uh, this is used under MLAG configuration. And this SVI sends keep alives via the peer link, okay? And if I do show IP interface brief, okay? So this is the SBI that is associated via our MLAG configuration and peer link. So this is what communicates from spine one to spine two is in sending keep alives. I'm gonna run another script, but this time, for MLAG interface configuration. So I'm going to run script uh, 2 in MLAG.py. And before I do this, uh, let's verify the configuration. Not configuration, but the MLAG interfaces. As you can see, no MLAG ports configured on both spine 1 and 2. Okay. Now I'm going to run this script now. And I will select option A, MLAG interface. So the interface that we want to configure for MLAG is ETH1 because these are the two interfaces connected to LEAF1. So basically, we'll configure uh, this interface. Okay, and then we also use MLAG1 ID and we will also create automatically create for channel ID1. Okay. Um, I have to cancel this, um, made a mistake. So let's do this again. Enter MLAG interface. It should be ETH1 or channel ID1, MLAG ID1. There you go. Okay, so we have now a successful configuration. So if I do show MLAG, you will see that ETH1, actually, if I do show run ETH1, um, the ETH1 is set to port channel 1, which is configured as channel group 1. So this is the port channel 1 configured on spine 1 and 2 because it says here P1, P01 local and P01 remote. The status is active. And again, we are using MLAG1. If I sh do show run P01, you will see MLAG1 is configured. Okay. And uh, both P01 MLAG interfaces on local and remote have up status. Hope you enjoyed the lab configuration demonstration. And if you want to know how MLAG Python network automation works, kindly check the link on the description below. Cheers.